Okay, so last time I did a drawing template in 2017, there was the issue with the show the information from the first sheet on every sheet. That was kind of annoying. So I want to uh, identify that early and make sure that um, in those options we have uh, have taken that care of that. So since uh, there's no document open, I can't get into that just yet. So we're going to do a new. I'm going to pick a drawing. And since we haven't saved a drawing uh, template with um, you know with our custom settings, I want to just go ahead and do a, an empty empty sheet size. We can always start with the A landscape and deconstruct it, move things around. Um, but I think we can um, uh, get this set up. So width is 11 inches, 11 in to set for inches, and eight and a half inches for the for the height. And I'll go ahead and hit OK. All right, so the screen is a little bit larger. I'm not bringing anything in for the model view, so we'll click uh, click clear, the clear. And then let's do Control B. No, not going to be a scale. How about we go into and my properties aren't shown, so that is one that I would like to change the uh, the menu. Oh, so I need to be in the view area. Actually, okay, I need to be in the highlighted area. And I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, expand out, go to Customize View. Oh, there were the properties. And Properties is not checked. I'm not going to delete from this um, from this right context uh, menu, so I'm going to uncheck Delete, and I'm going to check Properties. All right, so when I go into the Properties, we can Review, and Custom Values for Models shown in the default sheet, scale, and we haven't really done anything to the chain, uh, to set changes. All right, so let's go into options, and under document properties, go back over to, nope, not detailing, must be under drawing sheet. All right, so sheet formats for new sheets, if you want to have a uh, a first sheet with a full extensive title block, then the second sheet can be um, shortened, abbreviated. You could use a different sheet format. The one that I'm looking for is I'm not really setting zones at this point and layouts. Uh, Multi-sheet custom property source. Use custom property values from this sheet on all sheets. No. All right, if we're doing multi-sheet uh, multi drawing, I want the part or the assembly on that sheet to um, present its uh, file properties and be populating the title block. So we're going to uncheck that right away. Okay, and then in the process of doing that, looks like my my screen size, uh, sheet size, and my order came in. All right, so to start to build the uh, the title block. Uh, so if we had one in AutoCAD uh, that we liked, uh, had a, a standard title block, we can import it and then um, start to, to make associations. So I would still need to edit the sheet format, and then we can bring in that uh, that file as a insert DXF DWG. Since I don't have one of those. We're going to draw, well, let's go with the rectangle first. So this is going to be like sketching in uh, a part, but we have the uh, the basics. So once I get it into position, I'm going to start with the first line, and I'm going to expand out the additional parameters. So I'm at half an inch in Y. And let's see what it looks like at 0 0.25. 0 0.25, it won't violate the horizontal relation, so the start and end points will both be 0.25 for the Y. And then because we're at 11 and a half, I'm going to go out to 11.25, or not. <laughs> so 10.25 brings it back. Right, so we were at the, the 0.25. 
11 and a half would be 11.25, so actually I need to be at 11. Oh, well, I had three shots at it, finally get one. All right, so the 10.75 for the length of the, of the line, not, not an absolute coordinate. All right, then for the vertical, we're at 0.25. And we're at eight and an eighth. So eight and a quarter. So should that be eight? Okay, so let's just go ahead and give it the delta of eight and then it can figure out where it needs to be. So that was 8.25. That does seem more like a, a relative than a incremental. So anyway. Go ahead and, uh, or an absolute. So let's go ahead and accept those. Now I have lines in blue and I don't want those to be able to move. So this is one of the places where I consider the fixed relation to be acceptable. So once I fix, it goes black. I know that if I use this as my standard procedure, then I'm going to be able to come back to that line, delete the fix and make whatever adjustments that I need. All right, so for the bottom border, so let's see if I've got this figured out. The Y dimension at uh, 0.75, and then the ends are pretty much in place. So we'll come out of that, select. Should only have to fix one endpoint, and then the other end is coincident. So I'm going to have that. So the problem is if I put dimensions in here, then I have to hide those dimensions, or if the dimensions all of a sudden are shown, they will show up on all of the templates. So I'm going to try to avoid doing that. Um, so I have that, that block file, but I don't think I kept it. And so... No, I don't want any of my... Uh, template files. So let's just open up a, a sample part. And I need something in the way of a solid to actually show on the sheet. And extrude. Give it some depth. We'll write in our values. And if I type in the first letter, they'll go to the first in the list, the revision. We have a set of materials, so I do want to see a material. I'm going to right click and plain carbon steel is kind of long, so it would be a good example. Yes, the custom properties have changed. Let's go ahead and save this. No, I do not want to bury it in the program data. So I need to come back to my OneDrive somewhere. and find my assignment. And I'll just leave it as part four because I'm going to have to, I'll probably delete it later after I get through with um, geometry or the, uh, the associated um, properties to the, uh, to the drawing. Okay, so we're going to zoom out. I'm going to go back into editing the sheet. Sometimes there's a checkbox up here that says you're through editing the sheet, so go to the next. I insert a drawing view, and the model is part four. I only need the one view, so go ahead and pick it. All right, so now when I edit the sheet, I'm referencing a document that has my file properties associated to it. And so when I start writing annotations, I can go into the annotation tab, go to the note, and the note is going to be I'll replace it, and I'm going to link it. We're going to give it, um, you know, whatever as its um, description. The current document would be the drawing document, so I could have file properties associated with this document as well. Model found here. Drawing view specified in sheet properties or selected component or another drawing view. Well. But view specified is usually good. And we're going to 
fix the uh, property name part number. Okay, so that comes in correct. And then I'm going to switch. Since I'm still in the note, I can add another note. This will be the drawn by. And we'll just delete back past that one. Put my space back in. Same thing. We're going to go to model found here. Property name is drawn by. And that can go over. Well, since we're on a roll here, we'll just keep adding. And then this one's going to be the revision. So we'll type in the rev. And I can get rid of that note and we'll insert model found here. Property name, division. Okay, and then the last one will be for the material. So we'll abbreviate that. Uh, since everything was highlighted, I overwrote it. And property name, material. And did I save it? Okay, so when I hit escape to get out of the out of the uh, the notes tool, the part number I kind of limited to that, so I'm not worried about it growing too much. We're only doing rev numbers. Material can get a little bit bigger, so I would want to leave it uh, the most safe. I know that it, uh, it's saved. So let's go ahead and accept. And so I see that as part of the, the template. I'm going to jump back into the edit sheet format and see what I managed to do here because it doesn't look like I actually applied the material. So model found here, property name material. Okay. So if I did, Make sure in the, in the list of items that I actually pulled it. Okay, so if I have two there, I don't need another one. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to troubleshoot that one. So I can right click and open the part from the drawing. I have the plain carbon steel. Go to the properties. And under the configuration, the material did not get written. Oh, and the material did not get written because I did not tell it what the value expression was. Right? So there is the value and expression. We're going to save this one more time. Come back to the part, and now I can see the plain carbon steel. And I can see two of them because that's what I told it to put in there. All right, so we're going to backspace over one of these. All right, backspace or delete. All right, so now I have just one, and we'll edit the sheet format. All right, so that is an issue now with the property tab builder. So we'll have to go back and make that correction here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and delete my view. And if we rebuild, we'll lose, we'll lose the settings, but that's okay. And I want to do two things here. We're going to save the sheet format, and this is going to the default location. So when we get to a point where we're going to accumulate these in um, a common folder, a My Documents a cloud folder, then then we'll um, point these to a new location. But for now, we're going to save it. So this is going to be my A size. And we'll save that. All right, so now I have a sheet format. I want to go ahead and attempt to add the sheet. Well, it came in blank, so that didn't do what I wanted it to do. So we're going to, and just off screen, I'm hitting delete. Yes, I want to delete. And going into the properties then, now that I have a sheet format, I'm going to switch from the custom sheet size, which is exactly what I told it to do. I'm going to switch to a standard sheet size. 
and it's looking for this asterisk DRT uh, drawing template sheet format. <clears throat> and we're going to apply the changes. Mm. Now let's go ahead and see what it does. All right, so the um, the notes that it deleted, and then when I hit next, now I have the new sheet. All right, so the test, we have the sheet format. I'm happy with the way that's working. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, hit save. Now let's go ahead and um, overwrite the sheet. Well, I don't think the sheet format actually needs that one, does it? Okay, so I'm going to delete sheet two. And I should be able to hit delete on the keyboard. Nope. All right, so right click, delete, yes. All right, so assumption is that I will have one sheet, but if I need multiple sheets, I want them to work correctly. And so when I save this as my document template, my drawing, DRWDOT, it goes to the templates folder. And I called the sheet format my my A size, so I'm going to call the document template my A size. And there's no uh, association between the two two file names, but it's kind of handy to see which way they uh, they cross over. So while I'm here, I'm going to do a save as and uh, save a copy and open. And from part four, we'll go to part five. Okay, so if I come up here, part five, we're going to come over to ABC2, and we'll change the material, okay, 12. <laughs> we'll change the material to um, ABT, make sure it saves. And then now when I do a new document for my A size, part four goes in, I want three views, create multiple views, and I'm going to go ahead and accept. When I hit rebuild, then that populates. We hit a new for our next, uh, next part, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. This works. Model view. Um, and what I also need was the part name, so we'd have a reference back to the uh, to the part file. So that's something that we can write in later. But we'll see if we get uh, get this far. Okay, model view, and then rebuild. And so there is my 12 with the PDB. Uh, PDB. All right, so that kind of confirms. From here, I can add. Uh, pretty much any in that list of, of items that I want to be able to track, add them to my property tab builder, have those write to the file properties, the file properties get written to the drawing template, and we can also create custom properties for the, uh, for the drawing itself. So it's a matter of how you want to manage this data and what are the, um, the items that are important to you to, uh, to pick up. So that being the case, we are going to yeah, just go ahead and close that out. Tell it don't save. And let's go ahead and just make a, a new my A size. And no, I'm not bringing anything in. I did um, say that I want to have we're going to edit the sheet format. So now it's a little bit um, overwritten because um, I have uh, I have too much in there now. So I'm going to bring this one down a little ways. And the rev wasn't too bad where it was at. And the drawn by wasn't too bad where it was at. And then the uh, the notes that I'm going to bring in. is going to be for the, um, the file name. Okay, so model found here, property name, 
oh, I didn't uh, bring that file back in. So don't have file properties. I don't have anything to reference. So we're going to cancel out of that. I'm going to go ahead and accept. The file name will still show up. I'm going to insert. Oh, let's go back to view layout, model view. We'll browse for that. Uh, part four was fine. All right, so we have a, a view. Right click, edit the sheet format. We'll line up the file name a little bit better. Double click to get into it. Put the space bar. Model found here. Property name is not going to be in that first group. It's going to be a SolidWorks property, so the SolidWorks file name. Hit OK. Accept. Oh, go ahead and click out of it. Accept. And then I need to follow the same, same steps to make sure that I have the sheet format. And I have the document template. And then the drawing, drawing template is updated. All right, so now when I run the test, Model view, browse. Notice it navigated back over, so we will pick up the assignments. There's part four. And when we rebuild, populate. Want to bring in the model view, browse, part five. Up, do a rebuild, and now there's my updated items with a little bit more information. So this is an evolving process. You're going to spend some time. There's going to be um, a few discussions, a few arguments about what you want into your want in your title block, what is necessary information, and then um, ultimately you'll use it for a month or two, find out the uh, strengths and weaknesses, make another revision, and that's one of the reasons that we want this um, out on out on the cloud or on a network drive is so that company-wide, everybody has access to this same information, that any changes and any updates going forward are all pulled from the same location. Um, the issue is that previous documents, we will have to go in and reload. So if I made this change and I'd already saved this document and I did not have the file name in place, I would have to right-click go into the properties, select my A size, and tell it to reload. And then apply the changes, and then I would see the part five. It would move this stuff down, show that in place. So this is another one of those. It's not going to be perfect on the first go around. Uh, very rarely is it going to be perfect on the first go around. If you start with the ANSI A size, the, the default template, and deconstruct it, um, same thing, you're going to have a lot of information. You may have some, well, where did that come up, come from? Because, well, since I bring that up, that would be a good one to look at right now. So, don't save. I'm going to bring up um, standard drawing. We're going to get the standard sheet size. And the thing to note on this, uh, any of the defaults, is everywhere there's a box, or almost everywhere there's a box, there's probably something already related to it. So the thing to watch out for is I've done several videos about deconstructing, and I think it's just simpler to maybe start, you know, figure out how this thing works, but um, start with something small and, and basic and um, go through the uh, through the process. All right, so if I miss deleting one of these or move it and all of a sudden I have somebody still in that file property, I could have a checked um, my field pop up in the middle of my drawing and have no idea where it came from. So we do want to be as um, as conscious as what's going on over here. All right, so I did not prepare a logo now that I, I think about this, the next item on the list. Um, so I'm going to pause and find a logo and we'll insert a, a logo into our sheet format.
Okay, so I found my uh, my logos, and so we have a logo and one in blue, both PNGs. So let's go ahead and we'll see what it looks like if it opens in the Windows uh, photo. Maybe. All right, so it's looking for one. I have IR fan view. And, well, PNG is looking, well, I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> Let's see if we can copy it and what it comes in as. I want to copy it as a clipboard and make sure that it's still, um, that the program's still open. And then we'll go back into that uh, new My A size. Close it. And I want to edit the sheet format. And then I'm going to control V. And this is 19 kilobytes, so it's fairly small. If I had a one meg um, graphics file, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> if I had a one meg graphics file and ask me how I know that, um, because I've I've done that where I've had a large uh, where I've had a larger file and um, uh, it accumulated for every sheet. I ended up with another uh, with another one meg file on every sheet. So let's see, this is the um, the solid conversion. So that's kind of cool with the shadow. So we're gonna do an open with. So still not sure about the PNG and the transparency. Might have to go back and save this as a JPEG to get it to work. But I should be able to copy this into the clipboard. Come back into SolidWorks. Paste it. Oh, that one's really big. <laughs> so anyway, we would resize this. Um, probably save it as a JPEG so it wouldn't be trying to do the transparency. I would position it, I would save it to the sheet format, I would save it to the document temp template, and I would have my logo in here. So uh, if I get that figured out here, I will um, I will add it to the, uh, to the template. All right, so this is, uh, again, an optional item. Understand that there is a process. There is a way to, uh, to build out these uh, templates and to make things as complicated or as simple as you want.